Listen to some scriptures. John 15, 19. Separation from the world is a serious doctrinal issue. There's so many independent Baptists that are loosey-goosey now. They don't care about separation. Uh, they don't care how their people live, it doesn't seem. And they're like the pastor there in Virginia. And he said, I don't care how my people dress. Well, you're a goofball. John 15, 19, that's what I believe. Might as well say what I believe. If you, you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you're not of the world, but I've chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. There's a serious uh, division between us and the world. John 17, 14. John 17, 14, I've given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they're not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Romans 12, verse 2. We are to not be conformed to this world. Man, that has far-reaching implications in every area of our lives. Tell me a preacher is not supposed to preach that. God didn't just say read the Bible. He said preach the Bible. That means get down into where we live because God is concerned about every every life, compassionately concerned. He doesn't hate us. He loves us. And, uh, but preacher is supposed to get down to where people live with the Word of God. That's what preaching is. It's not just reading the Scripture. Galatians 6.14, separation from the world is a serious doctrinal issue. Galatians 6.14, Paul said, But God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. By whom? The world is crucified unto me, and I unto the world. Ephesians 5, verse 11. Ephesians 5, verse 11. Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Now that one right there, that verse right there, will separate you from every aspect of the pop culture today, and the rock and roll, and everything pertaining to its ungodly, wicked, proud lifestyle. The whole slew of it, the gamut of it, the, the movies that they're producing, the music they're producing, the philosophy that they live, every part of it, you just read anywhere, any of these people and their foolish philosophy, their godless philosophy, whether it's Eminem or Lady Gaga or, or whoever, and, and you just read uh, what they say, what comes out of their mouths and the ignorance and the godless and the hatred of God there. You can't have, how could you possibly have anything to do with any of that? This is what separated me as a young hippie conver convert out of all of that stuff. And nothing's changed. Yeah, a lot's changed. It's gotten a lot worse in these 40 years. A lot worse. That one verse, Ephesians 5:11 is going to do a lot of separation in your life. That's a commandment of God. No fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, whether it's video games, whether it's how you dress, whether it's how you wear your, wear your hair. I don't care what it is. Man, that's far-reaching. You just, that one verse. Don't tell me that separation from the world in a very practical way, way down how we live, is not a doctrinal issue. It is. Doctrine means teaching. That's a teaching of the Word of God. And these independent Baptists that are giving it up and, and, and just letting down the guard and they don't care, well, get away from me. I don't want to catch that disease, and I mean that with all of my heart. Go away. Go away from my family. Go away from my grandkids with that attitude. Separation is a doctrine. No, we don't want to be legalist. We don't want to be Pharisees. We don't want to just uh, spiffy up the outside and be uh, wretched inside. That's Phariseeism. We don't want to just legislate things. We've talked about that all week privately as pastors. We want to see God's people obey the Word of God passionately from the heart, from a desire for holiness. When you're alone, what do you do? Legislation won't keep you from doing stuff when you're alone. The fear of God will keep you from doing stuff when you're alone. And the fear of God, when you mess around and do the wrong thing, will bring you right back to godly spirituality when you're alone if you have the fear of God. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's the foundation of real holiness. But still it affects how we uh, live externally and all the entertainment and everything. It must. God commands it. It is a doctrine. Look at this. 2 Timothy 2.22. 2 Timothy 2.22. Flee also youthful lust. Flee also youthful lust. But follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Titus 2.11 and 12. Titus 2, 11 and 12. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, 
teaching us. What does grace teach us? Well, it teaches us we need to, you know, lighten up, tolerate, and live as we please. No, it doesn't teach us that. It teaches us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. James 1, 27. James 1, 27. Separation from the world is a serious doctrinal issue. James 1, 27. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. Spots are little things. Unspotted, what a high standard. What an incredibly high standard of separation from the world. 1 Peter 2, 11 and 12. 1 Peter, oh, sorry, James 4, 4. James 4, 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. You know what, what that needs to be preached in every independent Baptist church? Just all the time. Today in this wicked, vile society we live in, we're all plugged in, technology, you can't, you can't get away from things, and God doesn't want us to go up on a mountain somewhere, and you don't have any mountains anyway. And so what do you do? You gotta just constantly, constantly